Hey, what's good everybody? So we got some shiny hunting news going on as well as these game cartridge things that allow you to catch legendary Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Shaman and Heatran can be shiny hunted as well with a runaway method. So got a bunch of stuff to cover in this video. Make sure you follow these two guys because they literally are carrying the Pokemon YouTube community right now and deserve way more love than they're getting. So thank you both. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so for shiny hunting stuff, Kafotic says shiny rates still one out of 4,096 like current mainline games, unlike the original games of 1,892. Pokerus is still three out of 65,536 for a new infection. Shiny breeding, same as current mainline games, considers different language and shiny charm for extra odds. Otherwise, the shiny charm is irrelevant. Since this was not clear, shiny charm is not checked anywhere else in the game code besides eggs. No wild encounters do not get boosted shiny rates once you get the charm. Hopefully this is rectified in an upcoming patch, we will check. So essentially what this means is you get the shiny charm and only eggs are gonna be affected by those rates. You're gonna have better chances of getting a shiny only through eggs. Not wild Pokemon on the grass, not underground Pokemon, Pokemon with the shiny charm. There's something else with underground Pokemon, but we'll go over that in a second. Eggs are still affected by the Masuda method though. So it would be Masuda method, shiny charm affecting your odds better, or just shiny charm affecting your odds better. But Masuda method and the charm do stack, which is really huge. So like we were saying about the underground, same as before, the latest patch does not check shiny charm for anything except eggs. Maybe next patch? Lightstone statues actually give you a single extra roll underground though, which is really cool. So extra roll means better chance to get a shiny in the underground not extremely significant not gonna be like let's go you're finding shiny left and right but it does make it easier than you know just base game which is cool so get your light stones as far as overworld encounters go matt says in the base game running away from heatran at stark mountain draws the text heatran disappeared into the volcano except when you run away heatran is still there and can be encountered over and over again <laughs> for your shiny hunters note this may get fixed in one point 1.0 and then he gives an update saying it's still there even after being captured it actually just keeps spawning over and over i guess you can get multiple heat trans so will that be patched i have no idea but with each encounter the stats and the pid actually do reset which is awesome and matt says that his first heat train was female the second one was male and then he recorded the video that we're seeing here and by the way all videos and footage can be found linked to the original tweets in the discord or in the description below so with this new patch they were actually able to find the shaman and dark rye events in the code these dudes are so smart i literally can't even comprehend what it is more than a baseline level <laughs> but they did some smart people stuff altered the code and they made the events work so they didn't officially visit these places it is an event that we're gonna need to get so like i said they altered the code or whatever they got to the events and yeah it's fully working it looks good there's cutscenes. so the takeaway here is there is an event coming and um shaman is fully functional and the runaway method actually works just like diamond pearl and platinum so matt says encounter shaman run away go to sea break path come back to flower paradise and shaman will be there again for everybody else this will only be possible once they decide to officially release oak's letter via mystery gift in the future this is currently not possible without edit so you will have to alter your game like i was saying so if you guys remember pal park it is now changed to the ramana's park and there are slates each slate represents one of the game boy cartridges you were originally allowed to put into your DS to get certain legendary Pokemon and certain spawns, I guess. So obviously we're on Nintendo Switches now. So instead these are just items that look like the Game Boy cartridges and each one will allow you to get, hopefully each specific legendary perhaps, or each specific spawns that are associated with those Game Boy games. So the official Nintendo America Twitter actually tweeted, enter the corresponding slate into a pedestal and a legendary Pokemon will appear. It's currently unclear exactly how these slates can be obtained. Trainers, it's up to you to research this as you explore the Sinnoh region. What the heck? So yeah, they actually just straight up told us what it was, which is really cool. So new to BDSP 1.1.0, swarm encounters now give you a very obvious visual indicator that they're in your current area. Matt says in the video, Spinda is the current swarm encounter on Route 227, so the game informs you by showing a ton of them in tall grass. They are not symbol encounters. So if you're wondering what a symbol encounter is, it's when the Pokemon has like an exclamation mark over its head or a question mark. And uh, you know, sometimes like there's the meme in Sword and Shield where the Machoke is charging at the player. So that's like an exclamation mark symbol and they just start running at you people think that these may be linked to shiny hunting it's just being researched right now nothing is set in stone but just something interesting to note also after becoming the champion going to the game director's house 
at Hotel Grand Lake and talking to the sound designer will give you the DS sound key. And the NPC wasn't there until the newest patch. And if you talk to the Gengar loving game director after completing your Sinnoh Pokedex, he'll reward you with the catching charm. All right, and last but not least, the Poke Radar grass patches will continue to shake until you run into one of them and encounter a Pokemon. So it's no longer a guessing game. I remember back in the day, like each patch of grass would randomly shake like in this huge, you know, grass sheet and you would have to remember it by heart, which one was shaking. And if you messed it up, like you were done. So you go into any of the shaking patches, you catch or kill a Pokemon in that patch and your chain goes up. And uh, this just would increase shiny odds. I think it was an X and Y too. So if you kill 40 Pokemon in a row, you can get a 328 out of 65,536 chance to obtain a shiny. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll be sure to get you as much info as I can. Hopefully I can show you the game soon and we'll be on our way. But yeah, have a good one, everybody. You freaking deserve it. I'll see you on the next one soon. Join the Discord down below if you haven't already and peace the heck out. <laughs>